going on everyone welcome back to my channel if you're stopping in for the first time my name is Everett this is my 2002 Silverado 1500 that I recently swapped a 6 liter into right now I am changing the oil for the first time it did a break in which I, I know they just already broke in but it sat for a while so we ran it for 100 miles and drain it right now so after we get the oil changed and then talk to you guys about this ported intake not intake sorry ported throttle body by chewy 454 all right so i pulled the intake off show you guys the stock throttle body because I don't, I don't think I talked enough about the uh, porting. Some of you guys might not know what it is. Porting is when you take off some of this excess material, whether it's the throttle body, the intake manifold, or most commonly the heads. Pour it out things that are kind of in the way. Like this is the 5.3. And uh, you see all the black around the hole. These holes are actually like D-shaped but the header is like, you know, round. So some people open them up to match the flange. So that is ported. And this is the one that Chewy sent me. And you can see it took off a lot of material, which opens it up and lets this thing breathe a lot better. I kind of ran into a problem. This engine, well, this intake that came on the six liter is not the one that's on the six liter. I used the intake from my 5.3 which is exactly the same but the vent hose from the valve covers goes to the manifold on this one and on mine see under there it's got the hose inlet on the throttle by itself so a little bit of a problem but he did a really good job so I'm going to take this one off and send it to him have him do this one as well so that one will go in the 98 Chevy I have I'm gonna be swapping the 5.3 into so if you're interested in seeing that subscribe but uh, I'm gonna take this thing out I'll show you what it looks like in the light if you have the light you can kind of see this that'd be too much it might look a little rough but it is not at all it is baby butt smooth and he even poured it out the back side to match the inlet on the intake. I don't know if you can tell or not, but no, nah, can't. But I got on there with the flashlight and looked and it matches very well. But I'm a little upset this one won't work with my truck. Well, it will, but not bolt on. And I figure I have two, so. I'm gonna take this one off, send it to him, and guys, it's only he only charges 45 bucks to port it, and that is a hell of a deal. Because if you look right here, which you can't tell on the camera, there's a lip. It actually is smaller before this butterfly. Like right there, it's still closed. It's such a tiny little gap. So he removes a whole bunch of this material, so it increases airflow, obviously. So. A shout out to Chewy454 for that. Um, look him up. I'll put his Instagram in here. He uh, also has a Silverado that is 6.0 swapped, and he has since talked me into doing the NNBS intake swap. So that will be coming soon. Probably a couple months. Or, yeah, that the intake will come sooner, but the heads are going to come off. I'm going to send them in, get them milled imported by Texas Speed. Kind of funny because I just got this thing put together and now I'm taking it back apart. But I don't drive this thing every day so it's not a huge deal. Alright everyone, I'm filming on my phone now. I got the GoPro set up on the outside so you get some sweet exhaust and tire vids. But now that it's all washed and clean, it's almost dry. Probably should wait till it's completely dry but I'm anxious to show you guys how this stall works and how the engine runs. So, let's get her going. I'm not sure what I have squeaking under there. I've checked all the pulleys, but apparently something's
times so we can center console this thing is sweet i think my biggest complaint with the other one was the only place you had to store something was right here in the middle and if you had to lift this up you had to either take it all off 
by trying to hold it with your arm while you lifted it. And this is nice, you stick your phone or your wallet or whatnot in there and get in there. It doesn't match exactly, but it's not bad. I'm over it. Okay, so we are back at home in the garage. It's actually a little later now. I had something I needed to take care of, but anyway. And check this out, I cleaned a little bit. You probably noticed earlier in the video, but we spent last week in cleaning. But I'm happy with the six liter. I was expecting a little bit more, like I said, but that can all be, can all be fixed. And I'm excited about you know doing more to it because the last thing I want is to be done with it. I, I know some people are like, why? Well, I enjoy working on my truck. I enjoy making it better, making it faster. I'm excited about this 5.3 swap in the old truck. I think that'll be pretty neat. Um, there's really not many parts you need to do it, so I'll do a whole series on that swap, so stay tuned for that. Um, and also, like I said earlier, if you want a port of throttle body, talk to 454 Chewy. I keep saying Chewy 454, I keep getting it backwards, my bad. But uh, yeah, that is going to be that for this video. Sorry, it was a little over, all over the place. I had filmed some stuff and it didn't really fit the video, so I just took it out. But, but thank you guys for all the subscribers I've been getting. I'm at 180 something now, which no, it isn't that big, but I appreciate all you guys. Um, thanks for following along. Um, comment if there's anything you wanted to see, anything you want me to do or not do, um, let me know. I appreciate all the feedback. I like talking with you guys. I'll talk to you guys for as long as I can. Um, you know, it might get to a point where I can't message everybody, but the cool thing about the first 200 is that I, I know a lot of you guys, you guys talk to me regularly, but that's going to be it for this video. Like, subscribe, and see you next time.